OSHA 1904.39, reporting fatalities, hospitalizations, amputations, and losses of an eye as a result of work-related incidents to OSHA. 1904.39, A, Basic Requirement. 1904.39, A, 1, within eight hours after the death of any employee as a result of a work-related incident, you must report the fatality to the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, OSHA, U.S. Department of Labor. 1904.39, A, 2, within 24 hours after the inpatient hospitalization of one or more employees or an employee's amputation or an employee's loss of an eye as a result of a work-related incident, you must report the inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye to OSHA. 1904.39, A, 3, you must report the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye using one of the following methods. 1904.39, A, 3, I, through, A, 3, 3, by telephone or in person to the OSHA area office that is nearest to the site of the incident. By telephone to the OSHA toll-free central telephone number, 1-800-321-OSHA-1-800-321-6742. By electronic submission using the reporting application located on OSHA's public website at www.osha.gov. 1904.39, B, Implementation. 1904.39, B, 1, if the area office is closed, may I report the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye by leaving a message on OSHA's answering machine, faxing the area office, or sending an email? No, if the area office is closed, you must report the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye using either the 800 number or the reporting application located on OSHA's public website at www.osha.gov. 1904.39, B, 2, what information do I need to give to OSHA about the inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye? You must give OSHA the following information for each fatality inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye. 1904.39, B, 2, I, through, B, 2, 8, the establishment name, the location of the work-related incident, the time of the work-related incident, the type of reportable event, i.e., fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye, the number of employees who suffered a fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye, the names of the employees who suffered a fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye, your contact person and his or her phone number, and a brief description of the work-related incident. 1904.39, B, 3, do I have to report the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye if it resulted from a motor vehicle accident on a public street or highway? If the motor vehicle accident occurred in a construction work zone, you must report the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye. If the motor vehicle accident occurred on a public street or highway, but not in a construction work zone, you do not have to report the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye to OSHA. However, the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye must be recorded on your OSHA injury and illness records, if you are required to keep such records. 1904.39, B, 4, do I have to report the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye if it occurred on a commercial or public transportation system? No, you do not have to report the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye to OSHA if it occurred on a commercial or public transportation system, e.g., airplane, train, subway, or bus. However, the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye must be recorded on your OSHA injury and illness records, if you are required to keep such records. 1904.39 B. 5. Do I have to report a work-related fatality or inpatient hospitalization caused by a heart attack? Yes, your local OSHA area office director will decide whether to investigate the event, depending on the circumstances of the heart attack. 1904.39, B, 6, what if the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye does not occur during or right after the work-related incident? You must only report a fatality to OSHA if the fatality occurs within 30, 30 days of the work-related incident. 
For an inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye, you must only report the event to OSHA if it occurs within 24 hours of the work-related incident. However, the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye must be recorded on your OSHA injury and illness records, if you are required to keep such records. 1904.39 b. 7. What if I don't learn about a reportable fatality? inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye right away. If you do not learn about a reportable fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye at the time it takes place, you must make the report to OSHA within the following time period after the fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye is reported to you or to any of your agents, 8 hours for a fatality, and 24 hours for an inpatient hospitalization, an amputation, or a loss of an eye. 1904.39 b. 8. What if I don't learn right away that the reportable fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye was the result of a work-related incident? If you do not learn right away that the reportable fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye was the result of a work-related incident, you must make the report to OSHA within the following time period after you or any of your agents learn that the reportable fatality, inpatient hospitalization, amputation, or loss of an eye was the result of a work-related incident, 8 hours for a fatality, and 24 hours for an inpatient hospitalization, an amputation, or a loss of an eye. 1904.39 b. 9. How does OSHA define inpatient hospitalization? OSHA defines inpatient hospitalization as a formal admission to the inpatient service of a hospital or clinic for care or treatment. 1904.39 b. 10. Do I have to report an inpatient hospitalization that involves only observation or diagnostic testing? No, you do not have to report an inpatient hospitalization that involves only observation or diagnostic testing. You must only report to OSHA each inpatient hospitalization that involves care or treatment. 1904.39 b. 11. How does OSHA define amputation? An amputation is the traumatic loss of a limb or other external body part. Amputations include a part, such as a limb or appendage, that has been severed, cut off, amputated, either completely or partially, fingertip amputations with or without bone loss, medical amputations resulting from irreparable damage, amputations of body parts that have since been reattached. Amputations do not include avulsions, enucleations, degloving's, scalpings, severed ears, or broken or chipped teeth.